Hey guys, it's Alex here, continuing the series all about pH, water, and your hair. On this one, I am really excited because if you've ever seen me speak, I love to shock people all about the pH and of what they're drinking and the effects of the hair. Most of the time, as I stated in the other series, when it comes to water, it's definitely vital for our hair, but also vital for our entire body. Our body is made up over 70% of water. Our blood is made up over 90% of water. And so if we're not getting enough water daily, it's a huge issue. And, and that can lead to all types of issues where our body actually slows down. If there's any indication of the importance of water, I think of it this way. You can go with a few minutes without air. You can go a few days without water. You can go a few weeks without food. And so the importance of it is definitely, you can only <laughs> go just a limited amount of time without water. So it's definitely important. For the, for the people that are doing, you know, all kinds of water challenges and having a problem drinking water and liquids in general, I think oftentimes it's because of the type of water that you're having. Many people flock to have bottled water and all these infused and added types of water. I would say to simply look at the ingredients. Most waters are actually filled with different chemicals which are doing more harm than anything. If you want to take a look at what's going on with bottled water industry, I definitely would recommend Tapped. It's an amazing documentary that opens up um, your eyes, definitely my eyes, into the water bottle in industry and what the issue is in war, so to speak, on um, a lot of people are having with these different companies. But for you out there, when it comes to our hair, definitely our hair is a result of what we're planting inside. It's definitely a byproduct. So if you're not having enough water, your body's like, hey, the hair is the least of our worries. We're giving the most that we can, the oxygen, to the blood, to the heart, those things that is essential. So it does directly affect. But if you're struggling with it, I want to open your eye to the type of water that you have. So this, so this is a pH test. I talked a little bit about pH in my other videos, so make sure you check, check those out in this series. And I'll do a lot more and love to answer some questions about it. Uh, most people who don't drink enough water oftentimes drink a lot of sodas, Cokes, Dr. Pepper. But they I tend to drink a lot of sodas and bottled products and soft drinks and Red Bulls, all that kind of stuff. So that's what this represents over here. And then there is another group of people that oftentimes they're drinking their water, but they're always picking out bottled waters. So this one is Osaka, and these are not open at all. I bought these today. It's Thursday, November 15th when I'm recording this. And so these are unopened. And I'll make sure to be extremely quiet so you can hear the tap opening because I know how YouTube is. And you guys love the question things. Oh, is she tampered with? No, this is straight up bought from 7-Eleven. Nothing done to any of this. And then this big glass that I have right here is filled with alkaline water from um, a few pills filters that I have. I actually have an alkaline system here in my house. So all I'm going to do is just do a pH test. This is a water pH test. It's liquid. It's easier than the strips that I talked about in another video. These are strips. Sometimes the strips don't come out as accurate, so you have to make sure that you're getting one that's really accurate. It's but easier if you have clear liquid, so you can actually see the changes of the pH test. Um, I talked about in another video that there is a strip and so more acidic things are often on the pH scale considered to be yellow and orange and red. If it's neutral, meaning that it doesn't have more alkaline or more acid than the other that's neutral and that's seven. And then more things that are containing more oxygen and alkaline are often depicted as blue and purple. So that's basically the scale of things. So all I'm going to do is quietly, but that way you hear, this is not open. Simple Sprite bought today. 
again, not open. And now all I'm going to do is just pour this in here. These are quick, easy mason jars, so not doing anything, glass mason jars. Set that aside. These are drops. Just going to open this up. As you can tell, this is turning orange. That means that this has a pH of something that's acid. Remember these? Acid. It's not good for you. The reason why is because our stomach inside of our body, we want to have more alkaline things. But when you're drinking this, this is like acid. It starts ca causing many issues with your teeth because it's eating at the teeth. Your esophagus, your stomach, your stomach already has acid, so you're adding more acid into it. A problem, a huge problem. Many issues, lining and diseases, such as uh, stomach issues and gastroids issues, they oftentimes, many doctors will recommend you not to drink sodas. That's because they're trying to balance your pH in your stomach and the rest of your body inside. So not a good thing. This is bottled water. This is Orzalka. Again, mason jar, nothing's in here. You heard the tap. I'm opening it up. It's pouring some water in here. It's clear so you guys know. See the bubbles. And here, I'm going to go ahead and take a few drops as well. And if you can tell, let's add a few more. This is turning yellow. It means the bottle of water is a little bit more acidic. It's not neutral. It's not, it's not alkaline. The same principle applies as the soda. This is probably why so many people are having a hard time drinking water. Your body wants more alkaline on the inside. It wants that oxygen that's containing in more alkaline things. Oftentimes, it might just shut off your taste buds for having water. You're having a hard time having it. Your thirst is gone because you're having acid water. It's very creepy, very scary. So, now, I know some of you guys are like, wait, but the pH chips are like orange and it might be, you know, causing it to change colors and anything like that. And that's what you're doing. No, this is straight Amazon tested yourself. So what I have in here in the big one is a, again, alkaline water from a filter that I have actually too. <laughs> I have a Centiva. I've had that one for about five years now and love it. That's like my favorite and it got me my eyes opened to all about alkaline water. And the first time I had a cup of the alkaline water from a Santiva tank, I was blown away and I was so thirsty. Like my thirst kicked in like that. And so that's what this is. I have a couple of different options for you guys and recommendations that are out there. Uh, but this, just so you guys know, it's not it. So you see, it's not because it was orange or anything like that. As you can tell, it is turning very, very blue, which means that this is alkaline. It's containing more oxygen, which not just that we breathe in oxygen, but we're taking in more with our liquids. This is what you want. This is what you strive for. So hopefully I haven't scared you off too, too much about um bottled water but maybe i scared you off of so many sodas <laughs> but this and this is what i have about at least one to two of these a day and this is just one mason jar i do drink out of these mason jars i use them religiously on a lot of things 
but just these are 32 ounces and have one during the day. I wake up and have some. I use it in various things and then try to have at least like 16 ounces before I end up in the bed. And so, so the last thing that I always get asked, well, what if there's no alkaline water available and I have to drink bottled water, whatever. It's perfectly fine, you guys. Everything in moderation, including moderation. The biggest thing, I'm a runner, so they're always handing out bottled waters at races. I'm cool with that. On the race, I do have my alkaline water with me. Of course, I want more oxygen while I'm running. And frankly, it's in my house and I know what I'm carrying. But on the race, of course, I'm not going to turn down the bottled water, you guys. I'm not. It's either stop for the stop my race and possibly go to the hospital because I don't want to take anything but alkaline water versus take the water and continue my race and go on. So here's the simple reason why. Remember, I'm going to remember the yellowish one is from the Rizaka bottled water, and this is the one from my house. I have a little bit more in this one, but here's the reason why I don't care. It's neutral. They cancel each other out. It's green, which green means neutral <laughs> on the pH scale. It's a seven. It's fine. They cancel each other out. So we're perfectly okay with that. So that's why I'm okay with the bottle water here and there on a race because I know once I get home or situated, I'm going to have more alkaline water to flush that stuff out and to continue to keep on. So you're okay. But you're okay with this. But here's the other thing. If you're having sodas and then you have the bottled water, remember it's two acids. Yeah, and I'm just pouring some more. I'm gonna add more drops to this so it's colored. Remember again, the soda is very much so orange. It ain't canceling out. It just stayed orange. Much harder to do. Much harder. So again, <laughs> know which one you can have. Test them out. Look and see. I again will have this pH and tag me, you guys. Let me know if you've done this pH on different things in your own house on clear liquids or even purchase strips that I'll have down there on Amazon and let me know what you think. It'll be blown away, I know. But I know you guys who are focused on hair growth and want to have an overall healthy body, really truly take a look at the water that you're drinking. It would blow your mind. So hopefully you enjoyed this series. Let me know if you have any questions. Like, subscribe, definitely share this you guys. Let's get this message out. In order to grow hair, it's not just about having enough water, it's the type of water that you have. Fit hair philosophy, we're all about drinking pure water. And if you can't have that alkaline water, it would be great. So, thanks. Bye.